Hi, this is Giovanni here at Fraptools and I want to share with you an idea that just occurred to me. I'm gonna use two phalisteries and take advantage of the unrest behavior of the green generator. Now, if you don't remember, if you aren't familiar with phalistry, basically the default reset behavior when a, a, a function is going on recalls the raising stage. So if the envelope is falling, it will flip and go up. And if it is raising, it will just keep raising. But the green generator offers you an alternative behavior uh, which you can select on the back through a switch on the PCB that basically uh, ignores any retrig command as long as the function is going. So it needs to reach the end of fall stage to retrig. And it, now you can see that I've set the envelope to this uh, uh, to a fairly slow speed and it is basically ignoring every message that I am sending unless it has reached the, the this LED flashes up. So if I set my brain so to a reasonably high pitch like this one and patch the square wave output to trigger this phalistry here which I previously set to the transient behavior and to the fast time scale and then patch this phalistry to another channel of my CGM, you will hear that it will track more or less in sync with the oscillator until it reaches its limit, which is around here. At this point, Brenzo is too fast for phalistry to keep up. But we can take advantage of this feature because as you can hear, now I can increase the duty cycle, which is fixed, until it is too fast to keep up with the oscillator, and it will drop down by one octave, because it will ignore one out of two retrig signals. And then it will, it will divide by three, by four, and by 5, it will give us the uh, uh, negative uh, uh, harmonic series, the undertones, uh, you name them, and we can still take advantage of the of the wave shaper tools. And this is the classic um, division. But what occurred to me is that what if I repeat this behavior with another phalistry set to the same unrest behavior, but I trig it, for example, with one of the two gate uh, outputs, like at every duty cycle of this phalistry here. It will sound the same and track together with our brain. So, but it will drop just like this one, but only with a very thin tone, because this is, will have a very, a very thin uh, duty cycle. It sounds almost like a high-pass filter version of this one. I can combine them, but what I think gets interesting is the combination of the main tone and other divisions that introduce some unexpected chords. add some reverb
and I started to introduce some unexpected division because now I am dividing the already divided number. Almost sounds like a filter. Oh, now I changed it. And I was thinking, what if I sequence my brain so with you stuff? Uh, since now I am using uh, the, since now I am using the overtone, the negative harmonics, I will have something like a minor scale. So I have this track running with a sort of a pentatonic minor scale. start from here I can obtain these very unpredictable structures. And a more pronounced high, fake high pass filter here until I reach some dissonant intervals like here. I can try and play with a slower ratio. which generates these very eerie chords. And now I am curious to blend these signals to a single uh, module like uh, our 333 attenuated and patch this sum to the CGM uh, perhaps define a uh, lower ratio and set a new track something like this I need perhaps lower tempo something like this and I will use it to trig is the number 3 gate A 
trick this spare phalistry that I have and use it to control the amplitude. one of the voices by taking advantage of the attenuators. Like this. And now I have these automatic chords that create a very eerie and unpredictable vibe. This is it for today, I hope you had a good time, I hope you found this video useful and um, I will see you next time for more tips.